Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing fantastically well. So again, it's the end of the week, time to do a bit of reflection on the performance, the good and the bad. Now, this week I had a session with the FTMO Performance Coach, really good in-depth session, really talking through what's been going on with the trading, as well as what's going on in my head. Often the things going on in your head are the things that impact the trading the most, and really comes to some more realizations that I'm starting lots of projects, not just on trading, in life in general, and not actually getting anything finished to completion. And that's why I'm gonna take a slight shift in the trading over the next couple of months to get some things finished. Now when we look at all of my accounts at the moment, majority of the ones are actually my own live money are actually doing really well. For whatever reason, they are doing much better than my funded accounts. Look at FTMO over the past couple of weeks, I'm down two and a half, three percent on those accounts, which is not ideal. It's not where I want to be, and I should be pushing forward and getting lots of more better profits. And the other account, which is a challenge account, two hundred thousand dollars, I started that back probably back in April, and I'm still not even through phase one. I'm still in a drawdown. So what I'm going to do is focus my attention one hundred percent on getting that one through at least phase one by the end of September, and then getting that one funded throughout October. That will then give me two months of this year to make some profits and finish on a real high. Look at the other accounts, for example, my Darwin X has done very well. I got the allocation from last month, so I'm actually well over 100,000 euros funded with those guys. And with the actual performance I've done so far, I've also got an allocation for this month already. I want to try and push a little bit higher on that one to try and get a couple of percent return, just to make sure the performance fees are coming in the right direction. I can take a withdrawal at the beginning of October. So if I take a look at my accounts on Darwin X, I've done over 37% return in the past four months. Again, it's only a small account, so therefore the risk management is not quite the same as on the other accounts. If we then look at, as an example, my OFP account, that has done well over 12% in the past couple of months as well. So again, I know I can get the performance on the accounts, I just don't know why FTMO is not performing the way it should. I think there's definitely some of the drawdown rules getting into my head as well as some of the other accounts where I don't have to stick to those rules, I can be a bit more free in my trading and go and just make the profits when they're there. Also, the scaling on the accounts also tends to be a little bit lower. As an example, on OFP, I generally, if I'm trading gold, would be at 0.25 or 0.5 lots max, as opposed to my FTMO account, I'm always at one lot or even sometimes a little bit higher. And because of that, it's getting in a bit of a mess, bit of a pickle, so I need to scale back on the lot sizes and just let it run a lot longer and I'll be in a good position. I think also where I change to the, the swing account, that also has restricted me on some of the leverage on some of the trades I want to get into. If I've got a gold trade running, for example, I'm almost limited. I can't then start placing any more trades because I'm really running out of margin. So when I get this account back into profit and take a withdrawal, I will probably switch that back into the normal size account. Yes, I have the restriction of not being able to trade restricted news events, but again, it's only one or two a week, so I can actually get around that quite easily. So I think overall, although there is a bit of a negativity in the drawdown on FMO this week, overall, I'm still very positive. I'm doing all the right things. I'm making sure that the risk management in place, I'm actually doing the correct things on a psychological and mental level to make sure I'm in the right place to be able to trade. So I'm focusing on what I need to do, get the challenge account done, get that completed, and therefore, move forward at the end of this year and I'm already looking forward to 2025 because I know it's going to be an amazing trading year as well. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you all very soon. Cheers.